Hi there, a very good morning and good afternoon to all of you, depending on wherever you're watching me. This simply stocks with another session, uh, with another video on a particular stock. Uh, so we are going to talk about uh, one of the white goods company, uh, which is a small cap company today. Uh, so we'll discuss about all that. Uh, a little talk about the markets because I have not been coming online. So I'm recording this at the moment. We'll try to come online uh, in uh, probably... Uh, probably tonight or tomorrow uh, but basically the market is doing its bit after uh, going past 17,500 I believe there could be a little bit of correction tomorrow or, or next week uh, but I think we are in uh, for a decent rally in the mid and small cap that we are seeing in pockets of mid and small cap so basically you need to take positions into stocks uh, where you find uh, a lot of momentum and make pro make your money and probably take your profits off this is not a market where you can probably invest even for six to eight months time frame uh, unless you uh, really get on to something uh, where uh, two three quarters results are totally mind-blowing otherwise uh, the stocks will continue to correct uh, give you chances to get in and get out so uh, that's the call on the markets as far as uh, you can say the nifty is concerned 17500 is a strong support uh, will be bearish if if 17500 550 goes so that's about the markets now let's begin this session uh, with the stock in mind uh, first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation people taking any position to any share that i talk about should that with their own due diligence and research and i'm not in favor against any company that i talk about i am not a member of nsc or bsc kindly take that on note i am not a portfolio official portfolio advisor and whatever i talk about is purely for educational purposes and to make you aware of the companies that are listed in india and how they are behaving all right so let's go to uh, the screener website and let's discuss about the stock that i wanted to talk about before that i just want to thank everyone who's supporting me on patreon who is supporting me on youtube and and whatsapp I will come up uh, with the watch list in a couple of days time then uh, you can say the updated watch list and and new calls uh, basically i used to give calls uh, every day uh, but for the week i i now give calls by sunday or monday morning and so that's the thing so uh, we'll continue to do that uh, plus if you have any stock that needs to be analyzed kindly do put that uh, into uh, the comments there on patreon and we'll try to take that up on saturday and sunday i have a list of that already uh, but we'll add on to that Thank you so become a member there uh, ten dollar membership will get you a lot of access to my portfolio watch list etc uh, i've given that time and again so if you want to you can become a member on patreon uh, become a member on whatsapp uh, you can do that uh, by emailing me or uh, you can be a member on youtube as well by clicking on that join button uh, you get all the benefits of patreon even there so let me take you uh, to the screener website now and I will discuss about uh, uh, the stock that I wanted to discuss with you all. So we are here. The stock in uh, question here is Ember Enterprises, uh, 6,800 crore market cap. Uh, normally we talk about Dixon, its peer, uh, but uh, in my opinion, Ember uh, is something uh that has been ignored for a while and and for good reason because of the kind of results that the company is uh, producing at the moment uh the stock is in a bear grip uh, for a long time i mean if you look at here uh, from these 2700 3300 levels the way the stock fell in may of 2022 it has hardly recovered in fact it's now uh, down big time from the top so the 52 week high is 4000 the stock is at 2000 it's gone to 1800 earlier so 50 55 percent gone but why this came into focus for me is because of the fact that if you look at the numbers per se so if you look at the quarterly numbers we all know about their business mainly into ac and producing ac products and, and air conditioning and this is the season that is coming up with with the summer season upon us uh, so basically if you look at the numbers what has intrigued me is that uh, uh, you look at the december quarter numbers now 
sales went up sharply to 1350 crores uh, they had some acquisitions that were in play they had expansion also that came into process so sales did go up sharply here uh, to 1350 crores versus 980 crores in in 2021 versus 790 crores in fy19 so i'm not in december 19 i'm not taking into consideration uh, the pandemic years or the quarters because we are now beyond it hopefully i hope that influenza thing in delhi uh, do subside but uh, as far as uh, things are concerned we need to look at now each numbers with respect to how the numbers were before the pandemic so uh, numbers are looking good on the top line now basically what happens is for a company that doesn't uh, do well uh, for a number of quarters the top line starts to perform and then the bottom line follows up after two three quarters so if you really want to get onto this uh, you can at this point of time why i say that is that if you look at the quarterly numbers the jump is uh, uh, quite enormous on quarter on quarter basis on year on year basis as well 30 35 percent yes margins shrunk uh, there's no doubt about it six percent versus seven percent in 2019 versus uh, you can say 8% in December of 21 but I believe around 5-6% is perhaps the bottom for the margin uh, why I say that is that uh, if you look at raw material costs have come down steel prices metal prices have come down from uh, whatever the peak was in 21 uh, uh, oil prices have also been not that big I mean it has not corrected that much but not gone up as well so from last two years oil prices have remained stable uh, they have expanded capacity the demand will pick up in this season uh, demand was not there there in fy20 and 21 in fact ac companies all together uh, did not do that well during the pandemic compared to other companies which were selling online uh, which were uh, providing products at home etc uh, in ac and these kind of products uh, you get you have to have installation etc and there you need people so uh, right now i believe that this quarter could be big uh, for the company the march quarter and june could be even bigger so if you look at uh, why the numbers on the bottom line were not that great so six percent margins uh, depreci uh, so other income was nine crores versus around nine crores so that was fine but you have the interest cost so interest cost from 29 from 12 crores have risen to 29 crores they have taken debt for expansion and there uh, goes the interest in there uh, you have the depreciation from 27 crores go up to 36 crores and that has marked the numbers on the bottom line if the, all things remained equal uh, then overall uh, you can say uh, numbers would have been a, an improvement over you can say the December 21 number so there would have been an improvement on that so 33 crores of profit uh, went out to be only 15 crores of profit but quarter on quarter things did improve significantly so overall i believe that things are on the rise on uh, uh, means things are getting better if you look at uh, you can say the balance sheet as as i explained the debt has the borrowing has increased and because of the expansion etc from 1100 crores it's gone to 1350 crores and so yes uh, uh, reserves have remained the same so they are also, I mean, uh, uh, large investors have sold. But what I feel here is that it could be a very good one, one and a half year play uh, or a good six to eight year play because if this uh, sales numbers continue, if these numbers continue on the sales front, eventually on the bottom line, profits should come in once depreciation go away and, and they have a knack of giving, I mean, getting better ROC, and ROE I mean the company should end up doing well so if you look at on the ROE front they are not doing that great but hopefully once things start going uh, this should do well so not a technical pick but a fundamental pick at 2000 looks pretty good if I look at the at current levels it looks attractive that that's my opinion I'm not saying that it's something uh that is going to make you can say three four x etc but looks attractive for a 30 40 percent upside uh promoter holding has remained the same fii holding has dipped but not a lot in fact in the december quarter fii holding has increased from 26 and a half to 27.1 percent dia holding has decreased but hopefully uh, going forward uh, you will see institutions also getting in there once a couple of quarter results 
get better so basically here the strategy could be that uh, on amber that you buy some 10 15 percent now and on an up move keep on adding uh, say if it crosses this 200 dma you add more so that is around 20 to 20 and and pro perhaps once the results come out next two quarters it may just gyrate over the next six months and you can keep on adding as an sip on every dip and then over the after that after the next six months say one year uh, down the line you can go ahead and probably book some 30 40 percent profit on the stock i think uh, the stock could go to as much as 3000 from these levels uh, is not that difficult if if uh, you you will see that uh, the numbers do kick in so i'm positive on this especially because of the fact that if you look at the quarterly numbers for dixon uh, the sales dipped sharply but here sales have uh, uh, have been pretty robust so there we could see some kind of momentum picking up so that's the call on ember enterprises from my side So that's the call on Ember. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, the numbers are improving and I think uh, we are in for a big move uh, going forward. So I think we are in for a big move uh, uh, going into you can say the summer season. Uh, these are decent levels. Now about the stop loss because even for uh, positional investors uh, you should be having a stop loss. So if I'm saying 30 40 percent upside from here 30 35 percent keep a stop loss to maximum 10 percent preferably 7 8 percent from here so if you buy if you if you get all in at 2000 uh, keep a stop loss at somewhere around 1850 1860 uh, if this doesn't work out because uh, the more you save capital uh, the better it would be going forward once you make money on on some of your trades or some of your investments so that is extremely crucial so stop losses are extremely crucial as well so keep that in mind again disclaimers do apply so uh, take that on note and do your own analysis on these stocks and uh, hopefully uh, going forward uh, you will be able to make money i think uh, all these stocks all all these kind of themes will again come back into picture as we move into the year because i believe that from july onwards uh, things should Im improve uh, quite drastically for the stock market for for the whole of the stock market say across the board say in europe us and in asia and india as well because things are only set to improve rather than go bad from in here with what is happening with the winters in europe and then the war and etc and things of inflation and 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 the fed saying that they're going to raise probably it looks like they're going to raise 75 basis points etc so it's not going to get worse from here on in so i believe from july onwards there could be a major rally so that's why we need to position ourselves into stocks which have corrected and which could give a decent bounce for you to get that first philip of you can say capital and then probably invest into larger companies and uh, uh, probably get 18 20 percent cagr uh, going forward from there on in so this is my video on uh, you can say amber enterprises please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my video straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching